Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Pauza here and in this video we demo the changes and features that Android 8.1 Oreo Beta brings to Nokia 8. HMD has seemingly put Nokia 8 on fast track when it comes to update basically. So Nokia 8 was the, uh, is the only Nokia Android smartphone which has received uh, Android Oreo stable update. And after that, uh, HMD has now decided to push the Android 8.1 Oreo. So this is the first Nokia Android smartphone to uh, get the beta of Android 8.1 Oreo. So uh, we will just try to demo what all uh, changes and features that it gets. And we will compare it to uh, like Oreo as well so that you understand or uh, the changes and features that 8.1 Oreo brings gets highlighted. So uh, this is Nokia 5 on Android Oreo. And this is uh, Nokia 8 and Android Oreo 8.1. <clears throat> so now the most visible change that you will uh, see on Nokia 8 is in terms of uh, uh, like notification center. So uh, there is one thing since uh, Nokia 8 comes with hardware touch buttons. So you will uh, not able to see another change that comes in a status bar. So uh, a phone like Nokia 2 or uh, like latest Nokia 6 2018, Nokia 7, which don't come with hardware touch buttons, then you will have a status bar. So this change actually applies to that too. But here in case of Nokia 8, you would be only able to see this change in the uh, notification center or actions, whatever we call it. So uh, what is the change here is uh, if you zoom in, you can notice that uh, the notification center, it has become translucent so you can notice that you can see the time here 8.31 because this notification center is not opaque like it used to be on audio it is rather translucent so you can not only see the time you can also notice the icons here okay so this is the first change which we wanted to show. The second very, very important thing is or very important or very uh, interesting and cool looking change is that now you can actually, uh, if you change the wallpaper, let's say if you uh, set a dark wallpaper, then this notification center will change its color to, you know, this, uh, it will have this dark theme. But if you change uh, the wallpaper to a, uh, to, a, to a light wallpaper, light colored wallpaper, then it will change to white. So I will just demo that. So if I set this wallpaper, you will quickly notice that the theme of this uh, notification center had changed to lighter color, whitish kind of. So basically it, 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 it reflects the underlying color of the wallpaper. So if the wallpaper is light like we have in this case. You will have this kind of color. If we change the wallpaper to let's say something else, something colorful. So let's say now how it will look like. So it's still uh, like this, but one thing you will notice that it reflects. So since it's a translucent, it reflects the color theme of the wallpaper. So a bit like this. Okay, we will change more so that you understand how the how changing wallpaper will now affect. So it will be a bit colorful now. Let's take a colorful wallpaper and let's see how it looks like. So now I've changed this wallpaper. Now if I go, as I said, it will be a bit, you know, colored, more colored than uh, general white or transparent white. So it, it all depends on the wallpaper that you choose. If I go back to uh, dark, we are back to the dark theme so this is something which is very interesting with oreo 8.1 and and i'm really liking it so if you are the, that kind of person who likes to customize so it's like this with the wallpaper to changing the wallpaper you can actually change the theme and which is very very nice as i said uh, it, it has i mean okay it comes with hardware touch button so you don't see a status bar that's why otherwise if a status bar had been there it could have also changed the color 
so the color actually changes for the state was status bar as well so uh, that is not here because as i said if nokia 2 gets it or nokia 6 2018 or nokia 7 gets it we can demo it but for now this is uh, like there are two changes major like uh, ui improvement uh, ui ux improvement so one is the translucency of this notification center and the second thing which is very very nice uh, like a really nice customization that as you change the wallpaper the theme of this notification center changes too now uh, let's uh, talk about more changes okay so now coming to more uh, ui changes if you go to settings you will notice the changes here too so uh, you can see that from oreo to oreo 8.1 the search has changed so you now see a uh, you now see a bar here toolbar search toolbar here on the top by here you had uh, like settings and then a icon tapping on this icon used to bring the search but here you have a search toolbar so you tap anywhere and you can search so it's a it's a kind of improvement nice improvement looks good and you can tap anywhere so here you needed to tap to icon here you can tap anywhere and get this search working now uh, there are like uh, not many changes if you compare the settings page but if you go to the individual setting like uh, if i go to apps and notifications now you will see that uh, it shows the recently opened apps so the rest of the things nearly sorry i went to a network internet okay anyway so sorry so now it shows you the um, recently opened apps uh, other things look same but this is one new good new and good feature i think now if you go to system you will notice one more thing the gestures so gesture was like hidden under this language and input here on oreo now in oreo 8.1 gesture comes out and if you go to the system menu you can access it So apart from this, I think uh, most of the things are like other things remain same. So basically when you talk to settings, there are like three changes which can be highlighted. So one change is obviously very uh, visible when you go to the settings. So uh, the search toolbar that has changed, you go to apps notification. You see that you now can now see the recently opened apps. Now, if you go to system, you see the gestures which have come out from the language and input option, and it is out here. So this is good actually. You can go and just uh, access the gestures if you like. Now, uh, coming to other changes with Android Audio 8.1. So uh, now, coming to the notification. So notifications uh, got lots of improvement in in. Uh, uh, in in it in the Android Audio itself, but now here there are few more improvements. So if you have got bored with the message of like app is running in the background on Audio, which which like uh, it can be very uh, you know irritating at times because it comes a lot of times to you. So you can now disable that notification. So earlier with Audio it was not possible to uh, I mean kind of disable it, but you can do it with Android 8.1 Audio. Now coming to few uh, changes which were like more highlighted and I, I think there is less of a stance to them. But but I mean you can think differently but I think uh, many people highlighted this emoji, the hamburger emoji. So uh, they fixed it. Frankly speaking I <laughs> am not a very uh, like keen uh, you know you can say that I am not very uh, interested in what happens to the hamburger emoji. Uh, till the time it, it just works it just you can want to send you can send it but then many people did not like the earlier hamburger emoji so google needed to you know fix it and now it looks good so this is one fix that was highlighted so we try to show it to you now uh, there is one very 
uh, a nice feature which perhaps you would not be able to show it here but if you connect an a bluetooth connect a bluetooth accessory you will see that there is a small uh, battery icon here which shows the uh, the battery of the uh, connected device so that is a very good feature again if you have a bluetooth accessory you can just uh, connect to your nokia 8 running android audio 8.1 and see this uh, there is one more feature that or new or change that we would like to show so the power menu has changed so from so from uh, this on audio to this on audio 8.1 so actually this would really looks nice nice and uh, you know uh, nice and compact uh, compared to so even the theme like changes to the darker theme so it's it was like this so in any way it uh, is much uh, like compact and looks neater nicer than it what it was on android audio 8.1 okay now coming to one disappointment so the camera app has not changed so this camera app is the same app that was uh, before uh, like with android audio 8.1 so seems that uh, the camera app for nokia 8 is being worked on uh, maybe like because it, it it was obviously different from the camera apps on uh, on nokia other nokia so nokia 65 or whatever so since it was different it may be taking more time to get a new uh, camera app which will have the menu like or uh, ui like uh, this so on nokia 5 nokia 6 we have new camera app but and then we have seen that that camera app brings lots of improvements so i mean we were expecting that perhaps uh, hmd pushes uh, that camera app to nokia it soon but it seems that since uh, nokia Ad camera app itself was quite different so it may take more time to you know uh, get a camera app which has that kind of you know changed ui and better algorithms but it may take some time so it has not arrived so it's a bit of disappointment but hope hmd fixes that soon so with that we come to end of this video uh, we have demoed all the ui changes we have demoed uh, notification improvement we demoed how the power menu had changed we demoed how the settings ui had changed or like what is new in the settings ui we uh, we talked about the hamburger emoji which was like highlighted a lot so with that uh, we come to end of android audio 8.1 demo on nokia 8 i hope you have liked the demo and I hope you liked the video. So stay tuned for more on uh, Nokia Powers YouTube channel and Nokia Powers site. Thanks for watching.